Late summer pride events across the United States are being used by public health officials to connect with communities at a higher risk of contracting monkeypox. At a parade in North Carolina, some 2,000 doses of the vaccine were administered this weekend alone. Doing it at an event like this and having people reaching out and telling people where to get it, when to get it, made it very easy. It's rare to hear getting a monkeypox vaccine is easy. Demand is still outpacing supply, leading to lineups and frustration. The illness is spreading across the U.S. with more than 14,000 confirmed cases, a number that is likely low because of a lack of testing. And New York just confirmed its first case in a child. I think what just was so disturbing to me about monkeypox is a lot of the issues that got us into the ditch with COVID were repeated. Those mistakes were repeated with monkeypox. Dr. Deborah Burke served as the White House COVID coordinator under President Donald Trump. She says the Biden administration's monkeypox response has been too slow and that it failed to engage with those most at risk. While anyone can get monkeypox, the vast majority of cases have been in men who have sex with men. If they had communicated to that group, if they had provided testing, if they had provided vaccines to all of them in May, we wouldn't have this problem in August. The White House says an additional 1.8 million doses will be available for public health officials to order this coming week. These shots are not part of a new delivery. The federal government is instead requiring smaller doses be given out as a way to stretch out supply. But with college students starting to return to campuses, there are fears the response is not nearly enough. Young people will be coming back en masse, which creates the real and imminent danger that we will see a massive outbreak of monkeypox unless we have sufficient vaccine. And Katie, there are more than a dozen lawmakers demanding the White House do more to deal with this outbreak. What do they want to see? They've written a letter urging President Joe Biden to invoke the Defense Production Act as a way to speed up domestic manufacturing of the vaccine. The act gives the federal government the power to order private companies to prioritize government contracts and to help get those corporations any supplies they may need. The DPA was used recently to help address the baby formula shortage and has been used several times since the COVID pandemic began. Biden is under pressure to do more as monkeypox continues to spread. Ian. Okay, Katie, thank you.